Yo, what up, everyone? I'm back uh, doing a TCM video because uh, I'm a little bit concerned with the game, and uh, I'll explain to you why I'm concerned with the game. So let's go over to the patch notes we we're getting today for TCM, and uh, we have some good ones here. They fixed some stutters for PC players. They're also working on fixing some voice chat in the game. Good. XP progression. You know, the bug that everyone has been getting where they're not getting enough XP. That's being addressed. Good for that. Key binding for PC. W for me. I'm a PC player, so I enjoy this. I have a few issues with some of the key binding, so at least now I can change that. Good. Fix some crashes and freezes for PlayStation 4, but also some people that are experiencing when playing the game just crash. Good. Good changes. Also, now that lobbies will start with six players, I don't really know what I think about that change. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it's going to go. Uh, I don't see it being a, a good feature, but hopefully we'll still get a full lobby regardless. Um, so don't really mind it. Let's see how it works out. Uh, I definitely don't want to be on the family side if there's four victims and two family members. So I'll definitely do not want to play that. Just saying. But you still require a Bubba. So basically a Bubba and someone else playing four victims. Uh, I don't see how it's going to work, but... I guess they've uh, thought about that for, like, as a release. So, good for them. Uh, let's see how it works out. Uh, change quick match menu. Fine. They put it to the top of the search list. Is it a family, victim, and then quick match? So, now it's at the top. So, I guess maybe people are going to quick match more. We'll see. Now, uh, the controversial change for the game. They removed crossplay for PC. So, now that... That's been removed. PC players can't play with console players anymore. For me, being a PC player myself, I think this is a massive loss uh, for us. I know PC players are more common to hack, and yeah, obviously we've seen a lot of hackers, but it's not been to an insane amount that is like out of control. I see it like every few games, and when they do it, it's blatantly obvious. I get it. It's annoying. You don't really want it in the game, and I get it. It shouldn't be a part of the game. I hate it. I hate to see it too. I don't like it. I kind of want to just have fun playing the game and not be annoyed or be playing against them every time. And they just come into your lobby or something like that. I don't want it either. But the thing is for this is that, yes, it's nice for console players that they don't have to play against hackers. I get it. Of course, it's nice. For PC players, now we are forced to only play with, you know, PC, which I don't mind in general. But the thing is, it's going to lower the player count for us when the numbers on Steam is not that high to begin with. So what I'm concerned about right now is either lobbies are going to be exceptionally long, which I don't want. Or, obviously, we're going to run into the more freaking hacking issues, which is in the game. Which, obviously, bummer. Big deal, I know. But I can live with it. But just that I don't get it like every few games. Because we, I think right now, even even this patch is not out yet. I don't see the big issue. Because, I, yeah, I see it here and there. Yeah. But majority of my games, I've been having fun. You know, even with it, you know, hacker in there. I've been family and victim when people are hacking. I just leave. I don't really care. I can just go to the next match, really. And also, a thing that I don't understand is that if you go into the game right now, I know for console players, this might be a shock. But there's actually a crossplay enable and disable option. And it's also for PC. So if you don't want to play against, you know, console players or play with them, we could turn it off as well. But the thing is, we don't want to turn it off because our player numbers are not that high. And what I mean with not that high, we could go to Steam and look at it. And right now, it's also very early. Like it's 9 a.m. European Central Time. Not the best time for, you know, showing off the player numbers. But when its peak is like 10k, but, you know, 10k players to have to find matches, all that, you know, it could be an issue because I guarantee you on console, it's a lot higher. We go out to, if I go out to my game, if they go to progression, I've played 537 games in total playing TCM, right? And for out those 537, I can probably say maybe... Like even if I'm like if you say you're lucky, I would say same for those games because there's a lucky number that might be with hackers. My five or thirty other games, they're not nothing. <laughs> I 
absolutely nothing. Maybe okay, let's say fifteen. At least what I can remember. Like I, I rarely run into hackers. Even when I play, I guess PC players. And if I see something that's very sus, like a super high level, like ninety nine on PC, and someone is starting to lobby or like that, I get scared. But I sometimes take a chance and see is it, you know, that bad. And if so, I can just leave and go into the next match. So I I get why console players are rejoice that they don't have to play against PC players. But for us PC players on Steam, like we're gonna suffer. We are really gonna suffer here because it's not gonna be a awesome change for us. Cause just I am really scared that people also that want to play or that plays on PC right now, right? They play with console players, <laughs> so <clears throat> we're basically dividing the player base into two groups. We have the console Andes and we have the PC Andes. But now, if you had friends playing on console, well. Tough luck, and also for console, if you have only con, like if you're, you're the one console guy that only has PC friends, and you you can't play with them anymore. It's like, well, now it's because kind of sucks this game, right? Because you can't play with the friends you actually really want to play with. So, with this change, I I hope, as they say, it's gonna be temporarily, and I really hope they <laughs> they strike hard on that. Because honestly, I don't think you think it's cool live. I think it's stupid. Yeah, people are hacking, but even th what they say down here, even as they say down here, we're temporarily uh, separating PC from console players base in crossplay while we're continuing improving our anti cheat tool and resources. Like, come on. Like, yeah, okay. You want to, you know, you want to double down on hackers, yeah? But even, like, if you have, like, put a lot of resources into upping your anti-cheat. Dude, don't think people are still going to cheat because people are going to cheat. I can tell you that. People don't give a fuck. The people that cheat now, they always want to try to keep cheating. No matter what. I, even how hard it's going to get, they're going to keep doing it. The thing is right now, it's super easy because they have Xbox Game Pass on PC and they don't have easy anti-cheat there. Us Steam players, we have it. Yeah, sure. You can still cheat even though it's on. It's obviously harder, but... You know, a game pass, there's none. So if you want to cheat there, yeah, you go full force on it. I don't want to emphasize people doing it because I think it's stupid. And, you know, why do you just don't want to enjoy the game what it is instead of just, you know, fucking around with other people's, you know, fun, basically. I know you're probably going to have fun doing it, but, you know, everyone else that doesn't do it, you know, it's not an even playing field. So obviously people don't like it that much. And I get it. It's boring to play against. It's not fun. Everyone hates it. I hate it, especially uh, when you come up against game with hackers. It's not fun. Like, there's no funny about it. But press start, leave, next match. It's not, you know, it doesn't take forever to find a new match regardless. I hope it doesn't go live. I'm scared being a PC player because I also want to play with my console friends. You know, I can, like, when I stream the game, I don't have an issue finding games or having people that want to play with me because uh, I play mainly with PC players. But I have my console players that I want to play with, but now, at least temporarily, temporarily, we don't know how what temporarily really means, it's disabled. I'm concerned, and I hope they're going to lie with it, because I think it's a bad change for the health of the game. Uh, I really think it could kill off the, the PC version of TCM, which I don't want, because I enjoyed the game too much for that, and I want this game to have a like long lifespan, but already separating the player base on just because people you know are hacking, which is always gonna happen in a game like this. Uh, I think they should reconsider it, or at least make sure that Easy Energy actually works at least for Xbox Game Pass, because really us PC players are getting punished for not really, you know have anything to say in it because it's mainly a xbox game pass thing it's not really a steam thing probably people are doing it on steam sure you can't really stop that but i would say a majority of it is on xbox game pass and it's not really it's more like a microsoft thing more like an xbox thing than it's like a steam thing so yeah i'm concerned i hope it doesn't go live i want to play with everybody like on console and pc i don't mind this is a mix 
and it's not to say, uh, oh, I want to play against, you know, console players because I feel like it's easier. No, I play against a lot of good console players, like really good console players, also way better than me sometimes. So, and I, and I like that. I like a good challenge. So I'm annoyed that I only have to play against PC players because to be honest, a lot of the PC players I've played against, they're not really that good. Because the majority of what I see is console. And now majority of my games is only going to be PC. And I don't take the game super serious. I kind of just want to, you know, have a good time. But if I can't get my games going because the player base is dying for me, or like people are leaving, or people are refunded because now this is a core game change actually of the game, because they market the game as crossplay for new gen or current gen consoles and PC, so you could play with each other. Now they're taking that away within two weeks of the game being released. People, I think, technically get a refund from that. So I'm scared of that for me personally, like being a PC player, that people are just going to leave the game and then I have a hard time playing the game because I want to play it. That's my hot take of it. Um, I just want to get it out there. I know a lot of people have different opinions on it. It's fine. I don't mind. You can slay me if you want to. I'm just personally scared that it's bad for the game and it's definitely bad for PC players because I think we can really really bleed from this and not really have option to really get like fast paced games or even really be able to play the game which i think is a bit of a bummer so but that's my hot take and thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time peace out everyone and goodbye